Hey gorgeous! I have an enchanting beauty look for you to try out. It's perfect for a music festival or any summer parties. Start with a CC or BB cream and lightly pat this over your entire face with your clean hands. You can also use a foundation or stippling brush or sponge. Concealer should be used sparingly. Remember, a little goes a long way. All you really need is one swipe under the eyes, down the bridge of your nose for highlighter, around the sides of the nose and mouth to cover up any redness and all blemishes. Try using your fingers to apply. This warms up the product and makes the application smoother and easier. Blend away for a flawless finish. As of lately, I've been using two brow pencils to fill in my brows. If you ever look closely at your brows, you might notice that towards the inner corners, they're more sparse and towards the end, they're more full. Your brows don't have to match your hair color. It should either be darker or lighter depending on the look you're going for. On the eyes, start with a matte cream base to even out the color of your lids. Next, apply a shimmering lavender color along the crease of your eye and blend away. This will give your eyes that enchanting mood. Next up, take a light pink eyeshadow and apply this all over the lids and blend up into the crease. You want it to look as light and airy as possible. Add more dimension to your eyes with highlighter. Lift up the eyes with a hint of shimmer along the inner corner of your eyes and brow bone. To open up your eyes for that summery look, use a sunshine yellow eyeliner on the bottom waterline. Notice how much brighter the eyes look? Your eyes will definitely stand out in pictures. To really give this look a bold pop, use a vibrant blue or teal color to line the top and bottom lash line. I'm going to start with the lower lash line first, keeping the line thin. Now just line the upper lash line, staying as close to the lash line as possible to intensify the eye makeup. And extend out to form your cat eye. Gently soften the edges with a clean brush. This will give your eye makeup that ethereal look. And if you're looking for a more subtle look, just switch out the blue liner for something more delicate and natural, like a navy or dark brown. Almost done with the eye makeup, we just need a few swipes of your trusty little mascara for perky lashes. Finish off your summer look with a beautiful baby pink lipstick. Keep your lip color natural because this look is all about your eyes. There's no look too bold or too simple that's not worth your self-expression. I challenge you to explore and test your boundaries. Play with color, patterns, and styles and looks. I believe there's an artist in everyone, so let's find the artist within you. Break out your pencil and paper because I'm going to show you how to draw a beautiful face. With the light hand, start out with a circle, the most fundamental shape. It doesn't have to be perfect. From here, draw a cross and split the circle in half. Follow the horizontal corners of the cross and create a triangle shape. This marks the chin area. And on the horizontal line of the cross marks where the eyes should be. And the ears should line up to the eyes. The nose will sit around the bottom of the circle. And the lips will be within this area. So take this time to flesh out the face shape. You can create cute chubby cheeks, supermodel sunken cheekbones, or whatever. Draw what makes you feel better. And once you have a general idea, start erasing the guidelines to reveal your face shape. Everyone has a signature way to draw an eye, so take this time to play around with different shapes. For a basic almond-shaped eye, draw a curve and draw the bottom lash line. Feather out some lashes to open up the eyes and draw a rectangle shape to create a reflection in the eye. And repeat the same step for the other eye. And after your eyes are drawn, it's time to erase the guidelines. Take this time to add in the details for the eyes, just two simple marks for the nostril and a line for the nose bridge. As for the lips, keep the lines curvy and soft. So here's where the beauty techniques help. Feather out the lines to create subtle brow hairs, as if you're really filling in your brows. 
As for the hair, start with the hairline and work your way out to create the full hair shape. Touch up the makeup if needed, and if you want to play up your fashion or jewelry designing side, draw your own designs on her ear and neck. Have fun with it! And remember, you can erase and draw something different. I'm going to change up her lips so that it matches mine. This is my self-portrait in cartoon form. Share your self-portrait with me by hashtagging fanart so I can find your drawings and give it some love. It's not about how good your drawings look, it's about how good it makes you feel. So share away. Have fun drawing. Good luck. Here's something cool I want to share with you guys. I had my own mural painted on a giant wall in Soho, New York. These guys are on another level. That's some impressive painting right there. They changed up the mural every week to coincide with the beauty video I was uploading that week. It started off with an Egyptian queen look, a natural everyday look, a robotic chic look, and lastly, a unicorn look. Crazy talented, huh? I've been away for a while and I really missed you guys. I spent an entire month just traveling for work and decided to take a week-long vacation in Korea with Dom. I had the most incredible time there. I can't wait to share my travel diary with you. I can already tell that this is going to be an unforgettable summer. Can't wait to see you guys on my next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more. Love ya! Mwah.